Right. Uh, so here we are rendering the details uh, for the course that is encoded. The ID is encoded in the URL. Right. Right. If we choose to click on a different course, we fetch the details for that one course. Okay. And the way we're doing that is through this fetch over here. Right. But we know that that's a bad practice, right? That that instead of having this inside of this controller, inside of this course viewer, the better place to put this is in a service, right? And I believe we had already created a service. The service is already being used by the uh, course list component, right? Which is retrieving all the courses. Uh, but this time around, we would like to be able to retrieve and not just all courses, but uh, we would like to be able to retrieve the a course given the ID, right? If you give it the ID, so let's 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 write that in, in here, right? In here, we're going to encapsulate all data access. So this will be find course by ID. It's going to take as argument a course ID, and it's going to return, right, a promise with the course. So now in our in our component instead of hard coding this in here uh, we can ask for that uh, service right we can ask for it to be injected to us and this is a type course service there it is right and so instead of using this bad practice right we are we can now use the, the service instead and say this at service dot find course by ID and we can pass the course ID as an argument. If we go back, hopefully this works just the same. Right, go back. There, so it works the same, right? But now it's a better practice, right? Right, it's a it's it's been implemented in a modular reusable place so that all different components can use the services, the singleton here implementing the core service. Okay.